The UNH Wildcats celebrate homecoming this weekend as they welcome Elon University to Durham for an afternoon kickoff in Wildcat Stadium this Saturday. After coming off two back-to-back -back wins with URI and Duquesne the last two weeks, the Wildcats are confident. They're fired up and they're ready to play in front of a homecoming crowd. Honestly, being on the D-line, I felt we uh, were pressuring the quarterback a lot better, which is causing the passes to be broken up or it's not where the quarterback wanted. We were causing him to not be able to step up in his throws. We're all confident. We're all ready to play. We're all ready to beat some Elon. I think you know we've shown that we can be explosive in all three phases. I thought where we've really grown the last couple of weeks is in the special teams game. Obviously, Jason Hughes making a bunch of ton ton of kicks for us. Um, Drew Drew had three kicks inside the twenty last week, which was tremendous. I think we're a team. You know that is trending in the right direction. All we can do right now is focus on the present, um, and that's defending our home turf. Coach Santos said two focal points so far this season have been the quarterbacks and wide receivers because they're young and inexperienced. He said we can't be a one-dimensional team because we know we can run and rely on tough physical guys up front. We need to be a little more explosive in the pass game but want to have the identity where we can run the ball first. Us as a running back group as a whole we all believe that each one of us brings something different to the game so we just all try to just keep each other competitive just keep pushing each other to be the best we are because that's only going to make everyone in the room as good as we need to be to continue to win games that we need to win. You know, they're, they have a really good um, defensive line. You know, the, the Willoughby, their D-end is as dynamic as the players you're going to find in the league. Their second level guys are inexperienced. I think they're going to be very good football players, but they haven't played much for them. Um, so, you know, hopefully as we climb to the second level, we can do a good job engaging those guys and open up some running lanes. He's a good leader overall. He knows how to run the offense. He knows how to read backfields. He can move as well, which is trouble. But and he just knows how to get the ball downfield well. Now that I'm more comfortable, I I know what to look for. I know what the reads are. It's just one step at a time. Just stay patient. Just try to play my game. Right now, we're just trying to trying to focus on the, the task at hand, and that's a really good Elon football team. And and more importantly, that's continuing to grow for us and focus on you know who we are and and how we're going to set the tone going forward this week. So that's kind of that's our mindset right now. It's all about today, tomorrow, getting better at practice, and then hopefully putting a great product on Saturday. The Wildcats kick off with the Phoenix here in Wildcats Stadium at 3.30 p.m. Saturday afternoon. This game will also be televised on NBC Sports Boston. For UNH Wildcat Productions, I'm Natalie Norrie.